earth restored, perfected, complete. Pursuing the thought with which we started, we perceive that the seventh creative day or epoch will be a period of 7,000 years. Under Messiah's glorious reign, that last thousand years restitution work will bring us to the condition originally designed by God. It will complete the creation of earth and of mankind as a race of God-like rulers of earth's affairs. Man, having tasted both good and evil, and having chosen good, will be granted life everlasting. The disobedient lovers of evil will be destroyed in the second death. It is not in the power of human tongue or pen to portray the glorious perfection of the earthly paradise condition. The most glorious qualities of mind and heart known amongst men must of necessity be imperfect as compared with the perfection of God's image as it will be restored in all the willing and obedient, the unwilling and disobedient being destroyed. Already we see beginning the restitution blessings promised in prophecy. Yet we are only in the beginning of the thousand years in which, under Messiah's guidance, God's wisdom and power will undoubtedly work miraculous changes in a natural way. It is refreshing to all hearts and to Christian faith to know that as the prophet declared, the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose, and in the wilderness shall waters break out. So these things are beginning to be experienced. In the far western parts of the United States, and in Mesopotamia, the land of Abraham, human ingenuity, engineering feats, etc., are working miracles. Divine wisdom is behind them just as divine power is now blessing all of earth's affairs and making the world most wonderfully rich. If human skill is able to produce such beautiful fruits and flowers as are now manifest on every hand, what may we not expect will be the condition of the perfect earth when the curse shall be fully removed by the glorious Redeemer? Surely it will be the desire of all nations. Thank <laughs> you.